position is serious today, uh, down to Missoula. Um, so uh, follow along, hope you guys enjoy. Just going through our checklist right now, we're going to pick up our clearance here. Base star information Sierra, 1555 observation, wind calm, visibility 10, ceiling 6500 broken, temperature 4, 2.1, I'll put here 2971. Instrument approaches in use, landing departing runway 20. Hazardous weather information within the coastal area, available on flight service frequencies. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity and on the airport. All aircraft conduct to run up on the ramp prior to taxi. Notums, runway 1230 closed. Runway 2 condition code 555 at 1330 Zulu. Device on this contact, you have Sierra. Okay, we have information, Sierra. Okay, so one thing that we want to make sure to do is uh, check that there's no clearance frequency. So we can go in the airport tab here, go in the information, there's no clearance, so we're going to talk to ground 216. We have that in the box, so we're going to call up on ground. Ground, good morning, uh, Sierra. Well, we're at uh, the Jet Center here with uh, Sierra crossing uh, clearance to Missoula. This ground clear to Missoula Airport via the Scott 2 departure as 5. Expect your altitude assignment on release. Squawk 4332. On release. We're clear to Missoula via the Scott 2 as well. We'll expect altitude on release 4332. Read back is correct. And, yep. Okay, guys. So, Missoula, Scott 2 as well. So, we're going to make sure that we have that. Glacier, Scott 2, Scott as filed. Uh, as filed, Missoula. Transition, we'll expect altitude on release. I'm going to go ahead and send it to the panel. Runway 20. Entering it. Perfect. Runway 20, FCA, Scott, that looks good. Activate. Activate flight plan. Cool. All right, before taxi flaps are up, radio ZVLX, that's good. Fuel selector to switch tanks. We will keep it on the right, actually, for now. And we'll go to the next checklist. He wants us to do run up on the ramp, so I'm going to go ahead and taxi over here. And uh, I'll get my checklist, and I'll see you guys at the end of the runway. All right, guys. All checklists complete. Our departure is briefed, and uh, we're going to be ready to go at the end. Todd, ready to go at the end. Bravo, great start. Maintain 1, 2, 12,000. Runway 2, 0, clear for takeoff. All right, maintain 1, 2, 12,000, 2, 0, cleared for takeoff. Last call on ground, taken. All right, landing lights clear. We are squawking 4332, 12,000. Here we go. Anything after the low rotation speed, we're going to abort the takeoff. Anything after rotation speed, we're going to we we land up back on the runway. That's pretty quick. After that, there's landing spots off our probably right side, I believe, we're looking below 600 feet. And above 600 feet, caps are available. And then above like 1,500 feet, we'll turn back towards the airport. We have crosswind runways that we can utilize. All right, 5 Romeo, you'll be following the Cessna, get that Delta, they're moving out. Alright, here's what's feels on the floor. Everything's in the green, looking good. Power soft, 217, hold short, 2-0, Bravo, 1-0. There's Ripley. 5217, Blake Star, on departure, maintain, follow 220. We're accelerating to 120 knots. Making sure it's got two, we're making a left turn direct to FCA. Starting that left turn, caps are available. Sure. Safe flight contact, Salt Lake Center, good Over departure, uh, have a good day. All right, good morning, uh, through Scott 2, 4,200, climbing 1, 2,000. November, hello, Salt Lake Center, radar contact, two miles south of the Glacier Park Airport, climb and maintain 1, 3,000. 1, 3,000 for, uh, all righty. November 770, we're on route, we're going to autopilot on. 9,500, thank you. Okay guys, so we're cruising along on our departure here, the Scott 2 departure out of Glacier. Uh, right now, if you can see, we're going to FCA as the VOR, that's part of the first point. If I even bring up this chart here and I'll overlay it on the screen. Uh, it's a left turn direct to FCA. After the FCA, we're going to make a right turn, which we'll expect here in any second. Make it direct to Scott, then it's as well. After Scott, we're going direct to Missoula. So, we're making our climb gradient, we're going 7,000 feet already. Making really, really good progress on today's flight. I'm a pretty big stickler on this. Is you see how our heading bug is offset from our course? I want to be able to basically not trust the autopilot. That's kind of my mindset. Is you never really want to trust the autopilot. Even though this is a really amazing machine and you can really trust this thing, 
I don't like to trust it. That's my personal preference. So what I always do is I always program to sync the heading bug. And that way, the reason being is if you mess around with the flight plan at all over here, you're rearranging anything, you don't like anything, you accidentally did something, whatever, what you can do and what you can always do is immediately just go heading mode and you're flying your route. And then you figure out the problem from there, but if you're in heading mode or even roll mode, You'll fly just your current uh, heading and your current direction, and that's really, really important. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be touching the clouds here, so I am going to put on some icing, and I'm going to pre-actively do it just to try to get the wing wet. And that reason, the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get the wing wet, I want to be able to uh, have the wing lubricated before I start sticking to it on this wet wing system. It's really important to know how to use your icing system and how to maximize it as best as possible. Oh yeah, nice. Skywest 3801, descend and maintain one right, zero. I'm gonna go turn it off, save some fuel, or save some TQS. 10,000, Alright, I'll see you guys at cruise. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Serious is we actually have our plates loaded up on here, so let's brief this. So we're getting vectors right now. We're coming in from the north. Our approach is going to be 339 RNAV Delta. I know my charts are current, so on the startup screen. We have 18.4 in the box, 18.4 over there. Miss approach climbing left turn 9600 to Wanky. It's a visual condition. I think we're going to be fine. Um, 18.4 down there. Okay, we're going to get vectors either left or right. i got to figure out which way she's going to bring us in. It looks like she's going to bring us in this way, which we can expect right turning vectors. Uh, maybe Boppy all the way out there, down to Visby, and Rojo final approach fix will set up by Bo Rojo. Visby 81, Rojo 68, we'll have that in the box, circling 42. How low we're going to do? It's 4280. How long are we going to go for until the end of the runway? This has a 30 degree intercept or 40 degree intercept angle, so we'll be aware of that. And next is uh, how low, how long, and which way we're going to make a left turn, climbing 9620. Nine We just got cleared for the approach, so approach mode comes on. Approach mode comes on. Bravo, Bravo, maintain at or above 7,400 till established field start approach. All right now, 7,400 till established uh, for We're going to start bringing out some power. We're going to do a descent checklist. So we just got cleared for the approach. Clear for the approach means you clear the turn, clear to descend. 7,400, we're inside Boppy. What I did was I activated vectors to final. Putting that in, we're inside Rojo. 7,400 until established. So next thing first is I'm going to start bringing up, actually we're doing good on the VNAV, so I'm going to hold off on that. Our banana, our descent banana is doing good. And uh, what else, what else, what else? I think we're good. We're always thinking ahead of the approach, so we want to do our checklist now, descent. Oxygen is good, altimeter set, cabin heat and defrost is good. Landing light is on, is what the checklist, I'm going to keep it off. Uh, we're still in the icing, I'm going to keep my icing system on. And we're not doing rapid descent. Okay, fantastic. Before landing is next. We want to establish full. Uh, you want to establish, not necessarily cl uh, to land, but uh, we want to be able to establish our first notch of flaps um, once we're at Wojo. That's our first notch. 50% flaps and then at 1,000 feet above minimums is when I do next. I'm going to start slowing it down. We're established, which means we are clear to descend. 6,800. And we just broke out of the clouds now. 
Thank you, contact Missoula Tower, have a good day. Missoula Tower, have a great day. Uh, tower, good morning. Uh, Sierra, Arnav, Delta, 30. Sierra, Roger, uh, can we call the second basin? I'm about a two mile final for the option. Then you have runway 30, we're in the 290 at 8 quarter length. Looking for traffic, 3 0, clear to land. We got a little white rhyme out on the end there. Inside wing is clear. A little white rhyme out there. I guess I can leave it on for just a second longer. See if we can yep, knock that stuff off. Final up real quick. And right now, so we're going to go 50% flaps, we're all on 50, and we're looking for 100 knots. Glide path did not arm. So what I'm going to do is start vertical speed and crank it down. And we're looking for 100 knots. 100 knots is what we're looking for. Altitude select is good. We're 9,600. Okay, I think I'm going to take it. Have some fun. All the points off. It's mine. Looking for 100 knots. This is 4-5 correct. You done yet? Minimums. Minimums. Let's have a 50%. Or, sorry, 100%. Or 110. We're landing. 500. There's any knots over the threshold. Doing good. Eyes up, nose up, eyes up, down to the runway. Starting that flare. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Fantastic. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this reposition flight on the Cirrus back here to Missoula. It's obviously a super fun flight to be able to utilize your training and actually put real world, uh, real world practice into this stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.